see so many faces, so many different colors, so many different backgrounds. This is true Canada right here. This is what it means to be a Canadian, to stand up, to stand on guard against corruption and unaccountability in our government. We're not going to be con jobbed anymore, are we? No! Are we going to be con jobbed anymore? No! That's why Canadians across this great country and 30 different cities have stood up today. A great day for democracy. True democracy happens with the engagements of the citizens. And we are the true citizens. We are the people. And we have power. We are the majority and they are the min minority and that's the truth. And we must realize that at all times we got to stand up and protect our civil liberties, our rights and our freedoms and our right to vote. And I would like to uh, just appreciate everybody for coming out and we want to continue. Who would uh, show me a raise of hands? Who would come out in 2 weeks if we have to keep going? Are we going to have this being swept under the rug? No. Are we going to let them get away with it? No. Are we going to keep coming back? Yes. Are we going to stand up? Yes. Are we going to fight for democracy? Yes. That's what it means to be a Canadian. You know, this was a grassroots movement started because of online activism. A firestorm has been lit across this great country. Yes. And we got to continue lighting those sparks. No matter what, we got to move forward for the future of our children to bring back accountability and our rights to vote. Absolutely. You know, we're standing here at the War Memorial. We were here on Remembrance Day, some of us. We paid homage and respect to the soldiers who died and fought for our country. What a great place to have a rally, you know. It's really, really um, such a, an amazing spot because those soldiers risked their lives and they died for the rights that we got. And the way that we pay respect is standing up for those rights. To make sure they didn't die for no reason. They died for our future. They died for our rights. And that's why we're here paying respect to the great soldiers in this country. And we got to move forward because of them. You know, they want to send us off to war with Iran. We are not going to put up with it. We, we, they are not going to have a distraction to get this swept under the rug. And we know they want it too right now. They want this to go away. And it's not some rogue staffer uh, named Michael Sona that quit a day after this scandal came out. He was caught in the Guelph riding of stealing ballot boxes. And they only waited until eight, nine months later. And they took his, re his resignation. That's not enough. We have to have criminal charges. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a prime minister. We have a crime minister. He's the PM, he's the CM, and we gotta hold these people accountable. We ain't gonna be conned any longer. And I just wanna finish up, you know, we've been working really hard as organizers across the country, grassroots movement, that's what it's all about. If you like the cause, if you wanna keep us continuing, we need little donations to keep going to print out flyers and posters. So we'll be handing out this, uh, this, this little pail over the, across the audience. And if you could please help, put in a quarter, put in a dollar, whatever you can, and we'll still be making these flyers and these signs to keep going forward. And anytime you see something on Facebook, keep coming out, keep fighting, and keep speaking for Canada. Thank you. What do we want? A new election. And when do we want it? Now. What do we want? And when do we want it? Now. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. What do we want? 